Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, January 14, 2024. Não para a chuva. Torrential rain that turned avenues into rivers, causing havoc and has claimed the lives of at least 11 individuals. The rainstorm hit northern parts of Rio particularly hard, where people lost lives in a landslide, drownings, and electrocutions. Water from the storm reached the roofs of cars on some stretches of Avenida de Brasil, a major thoroughfare in the city. A sequência de carros. O trabalhador sofre, viu? Mayor Eduardo Paes decreed the situation an emergency and urged people to stay home for their own safety and so as not disrupt rescue and recovery efforts. A dozen bus line shut down and several metro stations were closed because of water on the tracks. É, meus amigos, aí, ó, quase cobrindo o teto. Ali, ó. Aí, ó, os bombeiros resgatando as crianças. Images on social media shared by residents show the damage caused by rains. The main affected areas are concentrated in the north zone of the capital of Rio de Janeiro, including the neighborhoods of Anchieta and Pavuna. Belfort Roxo in the metropolitan region of Rio de Janeiro also recorded high water levels in the city's streets. A pica do caralho aí, ó. Como é que tá o caralho da Raul? The northern part of the city was the most affected region. Neighborhoods such as Anchera, Pavuna, Akari, Madureira, and Iraya recorded high rainfall. The Anchera Meteorological Station recorded a record volume of 259.2 mm of rain in 24 hours, the highest number since 1997. <laughs> According to Metro Rio, the Pavuna, Engen Hairo, Rubens Paiva, Akari, and Coelho Neto stations are temporarily closed due to the rain. Supervia also reported that the Osvaldo Cruz station is temporarily closed and trains bound for Central do Brasil, coming from Jeffrey and Santa Cruz. Do not stop at the Marechal Hermes and Prefeito Bento Ribeira stations. 
In the city of Rio, the most affected areas are neighborhoods in the north, such as Jardim America, Ricardo de Albuquerque, Anjera, Iraya, and Pavuna. In Baixada Fluminense, the most affected municipalities are Belfort Roxo, Nova Iguachu, Mesquita, Sao Joao de Meridi, and Duque de Casillas. There were also floods and fallen trees in Nidel Roy. <laughs> the downpour was so intense that some areas received a month's worth of rain in just a day exacerbating the flooding and causing significant damage to local businesses and infrastructure. The Ronaldo Gazola Municipal Hospital in Akari, north of Rio, had its parking lot flooded and lost power. According to Mayor Eduardo Paez or PSD, power has already been restored at the site. In Iraya, also in the north zone, Federal Highway Police or PRF vehicles were underwater inside the corporation superintendents. Across the state, the fire department reports that it received more than 200 calls related to rain in the last 24 hours. The calls were made for people rescuing people, flooding, tree cuts, and landslides. In response to the crisis, firefighters have been dispatched to over 200 storm-related incidents. The public transportation system, including bus lines and metro station, had to be shut down. Even a hospital found itself inundated by the floodwaters. A national agency has issued warning regarding the high risk of landslides in eight nearby towns. Recognizing the gravity of the situation, the federal government, led by President Luis Inacio Lula da Silva, has extended support to the Beligard city. With the city grappling with the aftermath of the storm, the scale of devastation underscores the urgent need for effective disaster management strategies. A chuva começou ontem, dia 13, e olha o estado dessa rua. E fora da casa, né?